21st century. Uh, we can't go into the time machine right now. But they're going to kill us all! All right, all right, just one second. So, how was your weekend? A pile of your brother's pool equipment, or from Salvador. But tonight, I'm here to take you behind the scenes on the set of Family Guy. For the first time ever, you'll see what a typical production week is like for TV's 11th favorite family. Well, it's certainly not easy being a family that also happens to star in a sitcom together. Especially last year when I discovered those naked pictures of that 18-year-old intern on Peter's phone. But he explained that his phone number was the old number of some of the pictures had both Peter and the girl in them. Being on the show reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from Macbeth. What's the quote? <laughs> Whoa, I didn't realize this was a trial. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> Chris Griffin, teen doctor. Sir, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Well, it can't be any worse than what's in here. <laughs> I ad-libbed that line. I wasn't even supposed to talk. Hi, Stewie. I was just showing the viewers around Family Guy, and we thought we'd drop in and talk to you about the show. You want to talk about the show? I'll talk about the show. The show sucks. The only reason I stay here is to maintain my profile for my startup business. But of course, every episode of Family Guy starts with the writing. And here we are, the Family Guy writer's room. Where the writers are hard at work with the show's talented cast. As the star of the show, Peter likes to stay involved in the writing process. All right, butthorns, which one of you idiots wrote this script? Uh, I did. Oh, would you write it like on a computer? Yeah. Yeah, over the years, Peter's become just a total nightmare. I mean, he, you know, he's not Jim Belushi. He's not peeing in Snapple bottles on set, which is like a totally real thing. But he, he's, he's pretty bad. Dad refuses to interact with any actors on set. Deteriorating for quite some time. And I think someone may have placed an anonymous phone call to the network about it. You have no idea how bad it is here. He screams and yells and he makes a V with his fingers and then licks it like... <laughs> oh! They miscalculated the number of dogs who buy movie tickets. Yeah, it's actually pretty awkward. I mean, Dad's the only one in the whole production who doesn't know he's being fired. And he's being written off the show. Okay, everybody, welcome to the table read for this week's episode, entitled Peter Dies, We're Really Serious, No Joke, He's Dead and Never Coming Back. Oh, and there's other pages, you gotta turn them. To die again if it's ever used. Oh, well, you know what? I, I bet this is all Chris's dream. Wow, I am wide awake. Okay, but th there's no way this is real. They'd have to bring in someone to replace me. Uncle Ricky, played by sitcom buzzard David... S oh, please don't do this. I'm begging you, just give me one more chance. <sighs> okay, fine. All right, that's it. You're fired. And you guys are all okay with this? I'm sorry, sweetheart. This is pain... Have a good life, Mr. G. Your penis is out. Welcome back to Inside Family Guy. I'm Institute. So what's your plan? Are you going to be staying here for a while? Yeah, well, I figured if my family doesn't want me on the show, there's no reason I should keep living with them. I, I mean, there's no hard feelings. Um, I just feel like this is best for me, and this is best for those... You ruined my life. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Wednesdays are rehearsal days here at Family Guy. Not familiar with him. Uh, that's David Spade from Just Shoot Me. I don't know that one. He was in Grown Ups, Joe Dirt, Saturday Night Live. Saturday what half? He was also in some movie called Senseless. With Marlon Wayans? Oh, yeah, he played Scott. Did you have any questions about the artist? Thursdays at Family Guy are reserved for shooting all those flashbacks and cutaway gags we love so much. And what most people don't know is... This is the planet Jupiter, and he could say, next year is my star mitzvah. Ha-ha! <laughs> they love it. Tell the director. Where is he? It says don't take it with alcohol, but you should take it with... Who's the new kid? Hachi Wawa! Unfortunately, things aren't going quite so well for Peter. <whistles> yeah, it's an 09, fully loaded, extra cool AC. Dress. I'm sorry, sir. Now, do you want to leave the regular way, or do you want our Uncle Phil to throw you out? I think you know what I want. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, I was just about to melt some cheese on chips if you want to stay for a sad single-guy dinner. You go in oven or microwave? Uh, microwave. I don't know how to turn on the oven.
those, uh... You know he once tried to hold up a store with that thing? All right, everybody on the floor, empty the register! Please, don't do this! Oh, yeah? You want to be a hero? Here's what happens to heroes! Anybody else want to be a hero? Ooh, me, me, me! He has tiny hands. But when one of my rings went down the drain, he got it right out. Meanwhile, Peter has wound up here at the Chinese theater, where panhandlers dress up like iconic movie characters and charge tourists for photos. Ah, we just missed her. Hey, Smitty, I'm here to get my show back. I'm sorry, Mr. Griffin, but we have specific orders not to let you under the lot. Seriously? Bumbler with a Tumbler eventually aired as Bambler with a Fambler, which made sense to nobody and is now in its third season. It did also get me on the lot. All right, stop the show! Dad! That's right, I'm back. And Chris, find it in your hearts to take me back. Well, then I promise that every day I'll prove to you how much the show and how much my family means to me. Oh, Peter, of course we'll take you back. Oh, welcome back. We just happen to have a whole extra script right here. Pete, don't fail me now. <gasps> Sounds like I might be a teacher. Oh, I have a goatee up till the first commercial, and then I'm a teacher. Every week. Woods. And we'll close tonight with a supercut of every time in the show's history that Peter got hit in the crotch with a bag of nickels. Ow! <laughs> Damn it! No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Ah, nickels! Ah! 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 Damn it! Do you think I'm ever gonna be able to have. Ah! <laughs> Ow! It's Alan Rickman. Reminding you to move the pork chops from the freezer to the refrigerator so they defrost properly. Do not disappoint me. You all. Eh, you sound like the crab from Little Mermaid. I had crabs once. It's awful. You gotta buy that cream that comes with a little comb. Of course, I can still use the comb. Well, that's quagmire. And you know what else? Madame Claude is psych. Giggity. What about Peter? Yeah, Peter next. Oh, I don't think there's anything in that black bag for me. You're wrong, Peter. Let us begin. Oh, my. You were a... It is a crisp, clear spring morning, and Griffin Peter's son is riding to the home of his beloved. Death. All right, come on in. Knock, knock. Lady Redbush? Griffin! It's so good to see you. I'm so horny. Kiss my hand. England. Stuart the Third. Ugh, I'm so bored. I wish to be entertained. Where's my troop of actors? Presenting the cast of How I Met Your Mother! <laughs> oh, that's so satirical. <laughs> what social commentary? <laughs> well, now I'm in a wonderful humor. I wish to go for a walk into town. <laughs> farthest corner of the world, and then she'll be all mine. Why is he such a jerk to everybody? Because he has a very, very small penis. I've seen it, actually, and, and it's like you don't even want to make fun of it, you know? It's just... Just beginning. Maybe he changed his mind. Maybe he's not coming. Oh, come on now. There. Feel better after I just said that? Now give me one little touch. Now! I hate this. I, I... Now that some time has passed, you want to go out? With Griffin Peterson exiled to the New World, and Lady Redbush believing he was dead, King Stuart was... Well, at least it wasn't one of those promos where they got the whole cast shoving each other playfully like they're all good pals. Oh, oh, look, there we go! Oh, look at them jostling each other around. Oh, they give each other a hard time, but... A game of mumble peg? Oh, no thanks. Fine, I'll play by myself. <laughs> one nothing. Eventually, after many months at sea, Griffin Peterson and his shipmates... Fox quail, my dear. Oh, it's quite good. I'm also enjoying the turtled hen. Isn't the turtled hen good? So listen, you and I need to have a conversation about you not bearing me a son. Well, my lord, we've discussed this. We have to have... Maybe tonight might work, yeah? Oh, no, I got that thing in the morning. Uh, uh, how about tomorrow at four? You know I'm with my mother tomorrow at four. Oh, darn it! I'm gonna be so horny tomorrow at four! Oh, my God! He's alive! Chester, I've got to get to him! I'll help you, but only if I can go with you. If I stay... Followed by an all-new, slowly rotating black man. A 
And so Lady Red Bush sailed off to the New World to find her beloved. And the timing was good because reunited. Of course, Griffin had to go through the complex, extensive divorce procedure required by 18th century society. Gaunt! Well then, I guess we've got to go get her. Yeah, all right. Months rolled by, and Griffin and Lady Red Bush continued to flourish happily in the... This time together has been the happiest of my life. Me too, Lady Redbush. All those months I was without you, I never stopped seeing... Let me just, uh, walk over here and get your things for you. <laughs> All right, Your Majesty. If you want to leave with your pal in one piece, I suggest you throw down your weapons. Go ahead and kill him, Griffin. You kill him and I'll kill her. Go ahead. You can... King Stuart of England with some observational humor. Hi there, everybody. You know, my Aunt Frida was a real card. She always had the most wonderful spirit, even when her mind started to go. What the fuck? I remember once she wrote a letter. To <laughs> we got Peterson on the violin, and Quagmire and Joe will be joining in. We got Stumpy Seamus on the lead guitar, and he's gonna give you a great big. And I, you. Let's grow old into our thirties together. I want to have a baby with you. And I want to be there when you die giving birth to it.